Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, good evening teacher. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yeah, go about ahead. The, about a platform. Mm -hmm. Tell me. One, uh, two. I don't know how I respond because uh, all type, mm -hmm. uh, all type I I write. Uh, is bad i don't know how okay so it's it's incorrect yes. so um well in that case um uh, as i was telling claudia last time that pr probably you can send me a picture of the problem that you have so i can get in contact with the person that is in charge of technical support, they can help me to help you. Oh. So if you can uh, take a screenshot or take a picture and you can send it to me so I can, so I can try to, to send that information so you can, I can help you to do so, okay? So you okay. can do it after the class or tomorrow, tomorrow morning, okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh, the same problem I yeah. have. You have the same problem, Rufino? Yes. So, so, well, I have checked in the most of you have the same issue. Like you put the answer, but when you put the answer, even if it is correct, kind, kind of like, like gives you wrong automatically. So, um, let's see. So all people, what we can do, all people that is having the same issue in the platform. So you can send me a screenshot or a picture of the issue you're having. So I can get in contact once again with this person that is in charge of technical support and she can help us to resolve this issue because the problem is that if you do not complete the exercises in the way you're supposed to do it, I mean, that will be like stopping you for continuing working on the platform, right? So, and remember at the end of, the, of this module, you have to reach 80% so you can go to the next one. I think that all of you already know that. So Rufino, if you can send me a screenshot of that as well, so I can send it to technical support and then I can help you uh, with that issue you have as well, okay? So guys, it's already time for us to start. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, sir. I can Perfect. hear you. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, it's already time, we're going to start with the class. So yesterday, guys, we saw WH questions, okay? I just received some of your homeworks. We have, uh, we are like 30, 35 people in the class, but only like 15 of you sent the, the, the homework. What happened with the rest of you? Didn't you have the time to complete it? Because if you guys do not have the time to do your homework, it's okay. You can just text me and tell me, okay, teacher, I couldn't do the exercises because I was working and I completely understand that, okay? I know that every one of you is like busy during the day, but remember the exercises are only for you to practice, okay? So um, as I was saying yesterday, we saw WH questions. So when I want to know about a location of something, what is the WH question I use? 
Where? Where? Or? Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. How? How? Who said how? For example, let me ask you another question. If I want to know about the distance, what is the question, the WH question that I, that I have to use? How long? How long? Okay, is there another option I can use? How many? How many, if I want to know about distance? Okay. Why? Distance. Where? Where? Nobody has told me the right answer. Nadie me ha dicho la correcta. Listen. What is the WH question that I have to use when I want to know about the distance? How far or how far? How, how far, long? yes. Remember that I said yesterday, even though how it doesn't start with the WH, uh, how it's still part of the WH questions, okay? So what about if I want to know about the age? How old? How old, thank you very much. What about if I want to know about uncountable nouns? Quantity. How much? How many? How much, yes, how much. If I want to know about a reason, a purpose, what is the WH question? Why? Why? Why, okay. So yesterday, guys, well, we had some exercises that you're supposed to resolve. As I was saying, some of you didn't send me the homework, okay? For the next time or for tomorrow, if we have any kind of uh, homework and you have no time to do it, just text me and tell me, okay, teacher, I'm sorry, but I cannot do the homework because I'm working because I'm doing this, because I'm doing that, okay? But it's part of your responsibility to do the homework. I do really appreciate for those people that send the pictures privately to me and the other ones that send it through the group. Thank you very much. I saw some of you are very organized. That's very important. I appreciate that. So remember for the next time, if you don't have time, tell me, okay? Do not feel afraid. Yes, I know that some of you work during the day and I know that it can be a little bit complicated, okay? So I understand that. Perfect. So uh, let me show you, let me see. We're gonna try it too. Okay, this is one of the practices that we had to do yesterday, but some of you didn't complete it. So I will try to check with some of you. Let me see, I will give the first one to Cecilia Melgar, number two to Luis Enrique, number three to Lisette Montoya, number four to Claudia Lisette, number five to Claudia Iraeta, number six to Stella, number seven for Tatiana Pleites, number eight for Maria Veronica, number nine for uh, Jenny Sanchez, and the last one is going to be for Hilda Solorsan. Okay, so go ahead, guys. Uh -huh. Who's number one? My name is Paul. What is the question for that? My name is Paul. Who got number one? What? Guys. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Paul. Very much. Thank you very much. Let me see. Number two, I live in Cipotle. What's the question for that? Who got number two? Uh, where do, where you, do live? you live? Where do you live? I live in Cipotle. Thank you very much. I am doing my homework. Who got number three? What do you doing? Say that again. What do you doing? What do you doing? Is that correct, guys? What do you doing? What, what are you doing? What 
are what are you doing okay <laughs> i am doing my homework thank you very much lisette so number four it's my school bag who got number four where where is it where is it uh is that correct where is it what do, what the others think is that correct where is it what for example what is the notebook mm -hmm. algunos estamos adivinando but that is correct claudia where is it thank you very much it's in my school bag donde esta esta en mi mochila okay it's an apple who got the question for that What is it? What is it? It's an apple. Thank you very much, Claudia. I'm at home. Who got that question? Who is the next one? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm sorry? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm at home. Very good. Thank you very much. My best friend is Mike. Who is he? Who is, Who is, Who is he? Your best friend? Who is your best friend? Who is your best friend? Yes, my best friend is Mike. Thank you so much, Tatiana. My father is Gustavo. What is the question for that? Who is your father? Who, who is, is your, your father? Yeah, who is your father? My father is Gustavo. Thank you very much. And the next one, she is Silvina. What's the question for that? Who is, who is she? she? Who is she? She is Silvina. Thank you very much. And the last one, it's 10 o'clock. What, what, what time is it? That was really easy, right? It's 10 o'clock. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for that. So um, let's start with today's topic. Today's topic, guys, it's the simple present. Have you ever heard about the simple present? Does anyone of you know what is the simple present about? Any one of you? Eh, no sé si estoy equivocada, pero el, sim el presente simple es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, en el momento. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much it, yes. Who else have any idea? Who else? I need another opinion. Uh -huh. No? Present, ¿verdad? Simple present, yes. Es para expresar hábitos y rutinas. Habits and routines. Okay. Thank you very much, Adriana. Okay. So uh, let's start with today's topic, guys. Today's topic is the simple present. So today we're going to learn how to make uh, positive and negative statements, obviously using the simple present. Because yesterday, some of you were kind of lost in the, ex, in the first exercise that we did, because the clue was to make the questions using the simple present. But today we're just gonna be focusing on the um, positive and negative statements. Okay, so here we have guys, the way that we have to create positive and negative statements in the simple present. The simple present, as your classmate said, it's about habits and things that we do, obviously, in the present. That's why we say simple present. So the way that you are going to create simple sentences, it's very simple. First of all, you will need, what, what is this? What are those? This one's right here. How do we call them? Personal pronouns. 
Personal pronouns, yes. First of all, a personal pronoun, then the verb, and then a complement. Simple as that. But we have uh, some little changes that we are going to understand later on, or, well, actually we have it here. This is for the positive. Yeah, I can say, I like cheese, you like cheese, they like cheese, okay? So we just have personal pronoun, main verb, and complement. That's it. Let's go to the third person. We have to be a little bit careful, guys, because in the simple present, when we create a positive sentence in the simple present using the third person, we will always have to modify the verb, always. Example, we have the verb like here. Normally, for most of the verbs, we are going to add a letter S. We are going to say, he likes cheese. As I've been always telling you, pronunciation of the letter S it's very important. She likes cheese. It likes cheese. All right? Keep this in mind. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That every single time when we want to create a positive, only with the positive, a positive sentence using the third person in simple present, we will always have to modify the verb. Always, only in the third person. When we talk about the negative, what we do is that we are going to use the auxiliary do, conjugated, obviously, or uh, in this case is contracted. But we could easily say here, do not, like that. Do not, and it is the same thing. I can say, I do not or I don't like cheese. I can say, we do not like cheese or we don't like cheese. You don't like cheese. Normally, guys, Americans love to use contraction. So most of the times, they are going to be always talking to you with a lot of contractions. Okay, so, but it's up to you. If you want to say do not, you can say do not, and that's not a problem. But if you want to use a contraction and say don't, it's up to you as well, okay? Are we clear on this part right now? So far, so good? Yes, yes, teacher. All right, so let's move on with the third person. Yes, so, in this case, when we have... Uh, the third person, we are going to use the auxiliary does, okay? In negative, we're going to say, we can say does not, or we can say doesn't, doesn't, okay? The sound of the letter T at the end is very important, okay? We can say, he does not like cheese, or he doesn't like cheese. She does not like cheese, or she doesn't like cheese, okay? So that's very easy. Is there any questions so far? No, no teacher. No no, I have the question. Okay, who has a question? What is pronunciation like, like it's cheese? Like? He like it's no. like. No, he, he, da, he likes, with the sound of the letter S, likes cheese okay thank you all right teacher uh, yes. so in the third person and uh, the bird like mm -hmm. uh, um i don't know <laughs> no sé cómo decir este se quita la s verdad cuando pasa en forma negativa exactly very good observation very good thank you so much for noticing that as you can see here Thank you so much for that. As you can see here in the negative form, 
we will not modify the verb. Sí, cuando estamos usando negatives, el verbo ya no se va a modificar, sino que it will remain in the base form. Okay? But that only going to happen in the negatives. Remember, in the positive sentences, you will always have to modify the verb. Okay? Teacher. Yes. Um, para... I, we, you, they, vamos a usar el do. Do. Y para el he, she, it, el das. Yeah, exactly. But that's for the negatives, okay? Okay. All right. So if there's no more questions, let's move on. And this is a brief explanation, guys, about the usage that we have to have or how we use or why do we use actually the simple present let me see mm, i will choose someone luis enrique please help me reading this part we use the present simple to talk about things we do all of the time Okay, it says we use this, this present simple or simple present, it's the same thing, to talk about things we do all the time. All the time, but obviously in present. We have some examples right there, so I will need four volunteers. If you want to participate, please say me and then your name so I can know who you are. Okay, I can see here Alejandra Cristina. Help me reading the first example, please. I get the service bus at seven o'clock every morning. Thank you very much. What a nice pronunciation you have, okay? It says I get the, the service bus at seven o'clock every morning. Who else wants to participate? Jenny, go ahead. Jenny Sanchez, are you there? I'm sorry. John brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. He goes to bed. Okay. So guys, as you can see here, we have two verbs and the two verbs that we have are being used in the third person. What is the base form? ¿Cuál es la forma base del verbo brushes? Brush. Brush. Oh, what, what is the base form of the verb go, goes? Go. 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 Okay, as you can see here, we are using two verbs in the third person, and both of them are being modified. So we see, we say John brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. Okay. Thank you very much. Who would like to help me with number three? Me, teacher. Okay. I play football at mm -hmm. break, break time. Break time. Okay. So I can see Adriana Enrique. Help me with the next one. My sister goes sailing on weekends. Okay. My sister goes sailing on weekends. Thank you very much. So as we were saying at the beginning, we use simple present for habits. And here we have some common habits or things that we can do all the time or in certain type of period, okay? So let's move on to the next part. And uh, here we have things that are always true about the uh, simple present. Uh, let me see, Stella. Stella Lara. Hello. Hello, Stella, are you there? Yes. We okay. use the present simple to talk about the things that are always true. Okay, it says that we use a simple present or present simple to talk about things that are always true. I will need 
Um, another volunteers. Number one. The sky is blue. The sky, the sky is blue. The sky is blue. Thank you so much. Number two, who would like to help me reading that? The earth goes round the sun. The earth goes round the sun. Thank you so much. Number three. I am a student. I am a student. Thank you so much. The next one. Rodrigo, go ahead. SSB is on the Asian side of Istanbul. Thank you so much. SEB is on the is on the Asian side of Istanbul. Who wants to help me with the next one? Tiger. Big cats. Tigers are big Tigers cats. Are big cats. Okay. Thank you very much. And the last one. School start at a. Ah, ya me A.M. 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 Finish uh, at three of. ¿Cómo se dice, Mary? Three, three thirty, three thirty, three thirty p.m. Okay, so um, Stella, I, I when when you were saying that, I didn't listen to the sound of the letter S. So once again, just try to be more clear when you pronounce the letter S, or in this case right here. Okay, school starts at eight o five a.m. and finishes at 3.30 p.m., uh -huh. okay? So once again, okay. okay, perfect. Thank you very much. So guys, we have some rules here and I need you to pay attention to this so you don't get confused for the next time. We have some verbs that can be modified. We all know that in the third person, but how are we going to know how we are going to modify those verbs. Very simple. Here we have two rules that we will never have to forget. Example, the verbs that end in CH, S, SH, O, X, when you use the third person, you will have to add the letter E and the letter S to make grammatically correct. Example, we have the base form, the verb watch. What's the meaning of the verb watch? Mirar, ver, 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 all right, thank you very much. Okay, we have the verb watch. When we use the simple present and we want to use the third person, we are going to modify it and we are going to add ES at the end because the verb ends in CH. So we are going to say watch, watches. What's the meaning of the verb guess? Adivinar. Adivinar. Is that correct? Adivinar or suponer, right? Guess. Guess. Suponer. suponer. So, as you can see, the verb ends in a letter S. Double S, actually. So, we will always have to modify and we're going to say guess, guesses. Guess, guesses. What's the meaning of the verb finish? Finalizar. Finalizar. Terminar. 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 They are synonyms, both of them, okay? So finish, finishes. It's important, guys. Once again, pronunciation of the letter S is at the end. Go, what's the meaning of that? Ir. Ir. Okay, go, goes. What's the meaning of fix? 
Reparar. Reparar. Fix. Fixes. Okay, so I will need, I would like to have uh, some volunteers. Let me see. Aquellos que no hablan mucho hoy los vamos a hacer hablar. Let me see. Carlos Dubon, can you please uh, make the pronunciation of all of them here? The base form and the and the one that we use with the third person, please. What? What is this? Guesses, finish, finishes, go, goes, fix, fix. Go, goes, fix, go. fixes. Fix. Okay. Thank you very much. Let me see. Um, we have, who else do we have? Norma Marbelli. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, what is the Perdón. All of them, the base form and the modified one. Okay. What? Goes finish? No, say, say it in this way. This one, this one. Watch, this one, this what? What? Okay. What? What? Mm -hmm. Quest? Quest. Finish? Finishes. Mm -hmm. Go? Goes. O goes, no sé. Mm -hmm. Y fix, fixes. Ok, es guess, guess. Ok. Go, goes. Go, goes. Ok. Tatiana, play test. Go ahead, please. What watches? Guess, guesses. Finish. Fix, fixes. Goes, go, goes, okay? Okay, let me see Rubia Franco. Sí? Go ahead, what? make the pronunciation, please. What? What? Get? Guess, guesses. Guesses. Finish, finishes. Go, goes. Fix, fix it. Okay, guys, the, the pronunciation that we make cuando vemos una SH es shh. Como les decía la primera vez, como que está riendo pollos, ¿verdad? Finish. Finish, finishes. Okay. Finishes. Okay. So, mm. this is the part, the first part of uh, the first rule that we have when it comes to changing or modifying the verbs. Let's go to part number two. It says that the verbs ending with a consonant, we all know the consonants, right? Or um, normally we're just going to add what we're going to do to the ones that ends in consonant. Can someone give me an example of a verb ending in a consonant. Start. Say, say it again. Start. You mean start? start? Start, okay. As you can see here, for, to the majority, to the majority of the verbs that ends in a consonant, what we are going to do, it's only add the letter S. That's the only thing that we're going to do. Yes? Here, aquí se unieron las dos reglas. That's, that's my, 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 my issue, okay? But the, the rule, it's this one. If the verb, ends in a consonant, what you have to do, it's very simple. You just have to add the letter S to make it change to the third person, okay? So, but we have another one. If we have a verb that ends in the letter Y, we will have to change the letter Y for a letter I, and we will have to add ES. We have the verb study, 
carries. Carry, carries. Fly, flies. Okay. Are we clear on that, guys? Is there any questions so far? Podría repetir lo de lo de las consonantes. No lo entendí muy bien. Okay. Yeah. Sure. When we have a verb that ends in a consonant, that's the, the simplest form. La regla más simple is that you only have to add the letter S. El verbo termina en consonante, you only have to add a letter S to modify it. That's it. Are we clear now? Yes. Okay. Si el verbo termina en consonante, tendría que ser solo en esa consonante. No, 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 no. That's why we have the three, the three periods there. That's why we have them there because you know there's a lot more consonantes. Todas las consonantes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ya entendí. Mm -hmm. All right. So any other question? No. All right. So Okay, let's move on then. Okay, let me see all of you. You have, uh, let me see, I will give you, I will decide. Let me see, Luis Enrique, you will have number one. Patricia Veronica, you will have number two. Uh, Stephanie Figueroa, you will have number three. Hilda, number four. Let me see, Carlos Dubon, number five. Claudia Raeta, number six. Maria Luz de Nieto, number seven. Rufino, number eight. And Maria Veronica, number nine. Okay? So, let's go. You already know your number. So, tell me. Okay. Uh, what is the mistake? The, the, number the mistake is, is with the auxiliary. With the auxiliary. The, the auxiliary is, is do, but it must be does. Does, exactly. Thank you very much, Luis. Number two, what is the mistake in number two? What is the error in the oración? Yeah, what's the mistake? Mm -hmm. El verbo likes. Mm -hmm. What happened with that? Uh, I like eating pizza, tendría que decir. So the mistake is what? The letter S? Or what? S. Are you, no sé. are, are you sure, <laughs> Patricia? Mm -hmm. Can someone help her? Um, can oh, someone yeah, help her the mistake eh, is, is the, the verb like mm -hmm. is uh, have the letter s and, yeah exactly and, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly the mistake is the verb like because we know that we can only modify the verb in third person and because we have the personal uh, pronoun i the verb cannot be modified. So okay. we have to say, I like eating pizza. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Patricia. Number three. In the third sentence, the mistake is the auxiliary and the correct is does. Does. Now let me ask you a question for every one of you. In that case, the verb do is acting as a verb or as an auxiliary? As a verb. As a verb. Yeah, in that case, the um, do is not acting as an auxiliary. It's acting as a verb. But you are, you are right. The mistake is the verb do. It should be does. She does her homework on the service bus. Thank you very much. Number four. Who 
who got number four? Ya se le olvidó el four. nombre. Ajá. Creo que era yo. Ajá. Uh, You're not paying attention. The letter, the letter is amazing, amazing. Finished. So what is the answer? What? What is the answer? Uh, después de la S falta una E. Si no me equivoco. Uh -huh. uh, finish. Finish. Okay. Is that correct, guys? No. I have to add uh, to A to ES. Yes. Finishes. So finishes. Okay. The film finishes at eight. Thank you very much. Number five. Who got number five, guys? Aha, uh -huh, so you're not paying attention, huh? Because you already forgot your number. Okay, let me see. Stephanie Figueroa, go ahead and help me with number five. Okay, the mistake is the better piece and third person got, and the correct is go. Go. It's my friends go on holiday next week. Okay. Thank you very much. Who got the next one? Me, Claudia. Uh -huh. What's the answer? The mistake is um, bear carries. Mm -hmm. Don't change a way, a wife. Sorry. Mm -hmm. A wife. Or... Didn't change the letter Y. Uh -huh. So what is, what is the answer? Letter a A S. So it's she carries her little sister to the car in the morning. Thank you very much. What about the next one? Number seven. Okay. Mistake is the um activities. It's correct. Nicole Kidman activities in a lot of things. Hmm. What the other ones think? Is that correct what she said? Act. Actress. Acts. What we do? Solo agregamos la letra S. ¿Por qué? Porque termina en consonante. Right? Por eso les dije, last rules, last reglas. Nicole Kidman acts in a lot of films. Okay, what about number eight? is in the bird place mm -hmm. uh, do, don't uh, place don't add s don't add the s correct, mm -hmm. the correct play in the garden at break okay thank you very much and what about the last one And number nine, um, aplicando la regla, cambiaríamos lo que es el verbo. So what will, what is the answer? Um, sería. Mm -hmm. Talks. Okay. So it will be talks. Talks, okay? Guys, when we make the pronunciation, cuando pronunciamos este verbo, la letra L no se pronuncia. No decimos talk, no decimos talk, nada, nada por el estilo. Decimos talk, talk. Y si es okay. third person, decimos talks, okay? Talks. Talk. Talk. Okay, for the next time, see, letter L, we do not pronunciate it. Okay? Okay. Perfect. So, is there any questions so far? Because if there's, if there's no questions, so here we have the practice, okay? So you already know what to do. Take a screenshot, 
take a picture so we can work on these exercises, okay? So you let me know when I can uh, move to the next slide. Can I move now? Yes, Okay. What about now? Can I move? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can I move now? Yes. Yeah. And this is the last one. Are we done? Yes. Perfect. So guys, we have pretty much 15 minutes to work on this. Okay, once again, please guys, make your biggest effort to try to speak in English. Okay, please try to do it. Help your classmates. Okay, help each other, participate. And I will be checking all of you, okay? So let me see. All right. So now I created the group. So please go ahead and join your groups. Hello guys, what's going on with you? Hello, hello. Melida, Stella. Hello guys, what's going on? Hello. Um, cool. Yeah. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Estas son las que están en, sí. en el grupo, va. Ajá. Sí, Okay. 
I think uh, La primera creo que sería They doesn't live in Madrid They doesn't, they doesn't live in Madrid Vaya, el no. perdón, está de German at the school. Ajá. No, yes. ajá. Yes, así sería. Okay. Dave, yes. ajá. Eh, number two, dijimos que you studies por la, o sea, lo del verbo, ¿verdad? Que se le cambia eh, por las reglas. Quedaría you studies German at the school. Eh, y en okay. forma negativa sería eh, entonces you, you doesn't. Doesn't study. Study. German at the school. Okay. Number study. three. Uh, number three sería. My dad drives a red car. Yes. <laughs> and the negative form uh, is my dad doesn't drive a red a red car. Uh -huh. My dad doesn't drive. Ajá. La foto. 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 La the six is dishes. In the five days. No, the six. The six. Dishes. 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 This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> okay, and the first one who want to start? Goes? No, goes? No, go. Uh -huh. Remember, the first person. it's in first person singular. Uh -huh. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. I usually go to school. The mm -hmm. second one? They visit us often. Yeah. The third? We play basketball once a week. Yeah. And the fourth? Tom works. Exactly. Every day. The five sentence. He always tells a no to us. Mm -hmm. no us uh -huh. yeah. But it is, she never helps me with no, 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 with with that. With that. With that. Yeah, with that. Yeah. <clears throat> the seven. Martha and Kevin swim. Swims. A week. No, swims. 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 Dances. I believe. Mm, 
Dances is the club dances. people. Why dances? With because a, it's third person. Dances. Mm, no, because no, people, it's plural. No, plural. No, people is plural. Yeah. It's, sorry, dance. The, yeah. Yeah. And sorry. let sorry. let me see. Um, Luis Enrique, can you help us with the nice sentence, please? Mm -hmm. And he plays. He plays. Basketball once a week. Uh -huh. No se modifica. To play basketball. To play basketball once a week. Teacher, we have a question. Uh -huh. What's the question? Um, the the verb <coughs> is modificate. No sé si se dice así. Modify. Only the modif modified. Mm -hmm. Only the the third person. Only with the third person, correct. The one and two. No. No, no the you. one, two, three uh, sentences. No, no change. No, you don't change them because you have I, you have they, and you have you. So you know that you don't modify because they are not third person. Thanks, teacher. Mm. And the number Tom four. Works. Tom works every day. Four. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, la otra, el otro ejercicio, por favor, Rodrigo. Si nos hace el favor. English guys. English. Oh, sorry, teacher. Uh, Rodrigo, do me a favor, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> please, Rodrigo. The one other In slide, guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, number one, I uh, usually uh, go. Go. ¿Qué tenemos que poner? Go to school. Ajá. Go to school. Es Us. primera persona. No lleva a agregar uh -huh. el I. Es, pero. Uh, number two. En las primeras tres. Sí, en las cuartas sí sería Tom Work. Workers. ¿Dónde se agrega ED? Work. Everything works. Ah, eh, Sorry, guys. Works. E S works. Uh -huh. Es. Use the letter. Mm. He always. He always tells. Yes. Yes. So we have to make a affirmative sentence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go. <clears throat> it's okay. affirmative sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, he goes to the uh -huh. school. Exactly. Yeah. He goes to the school. Yeah, yeah it's well.
Okay, guys, did you complete the exercises, all of them? Uh, not teacher, my team, um, we don't finish. You didn't finish, okay, no problem. So we're going to just wait for the other ones to come back to the, to the session. Just let's see, we're 13, 14, okay. All right, so uh, in this case, you already have your screenshots, your pictures, or I don't know, something you did. Um, in this case, if your team did not complete the exercises, the rest of them are going to be homework for you, okay? So if your team did not complete them, you will have to do the rest of them for tomorrow, okay? Are we clear on that? Okay. Okay, okay, teacher. teacher. Re remember, if you Let's do not teacher. have the time, if you don't have the time to do it because you're working, because you don't, I mean, you're doing something else, please tell me and or text me or say in the WhatsApp group, I cannot do the homework because I'm doing this and this and that, okay? So, but if that's not your case, you will always have to make the homework because that's part of your learning process, okay? Are we clear on that? Yes. yes. All right. Sure. So sure. I, another thing that I wanted to tell you, do not forget to keep working on the platform. So the people that are having issues with the platform, I already told you, send me a screenshot so I can talk to this person so they can help you. If you don't do so, I, will, I won't be able to help you, okay? So send me the picture, screenshot, or whatever, so I can talk with this person in charge of technical support so we can help you to resolve the issue you have, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So uh, this is going to be all for today, guys. It was a pleasure to see you once again. See you until Monday, okay? See you on Monday. Okay. Have a great weekend and uh, be safe, okay? Good night for you okay. all. Good night, Good night you. Bye bye. Good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Take care.